So if you're studying for the SAT right now and you're trying to raise your SAT math section score, there is a 99% chance that you are gonna go through one of these problems, maybe all of them. Every single week I have students come to me and ask, hey John, my current score is this and I've tried everything and my score just doesn't seem to move. Like what's my problem right now and what can I do to raise my score? And I just tell them, hey, if you're currently at this score, that means you're probably having this problem and this is how you solve that problem. And a couple weeks, a couple months later, they are at their target score of 700, 750 plus. And the only reason I know this is because I have worked with almost, I think 200 students now to help them go anywhere from 450, as low as 450 to a target score of 700, 750 plus, and even a perfect score of 800. And what I've started to notice is that every single student, almost like 99% of the students are going to have the same exact problem at a certain score range. And knowing these problems at specific score ranges are going to save you a lot of time because it will tell you exactly what you need to work on to start raising your score. What ends up happening pretty often is that students are working on the wrong thing and they're wondering why isn't my score going up? So in this video, I'm going to share with you the common problems that students face in each score group. And I'm going to also give you the solution so you can handle these problems correctly and efficiently and eventually get to your target score of whatever the score is. But before we get started, guys, make sure you go and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because there is a 78% chance that you are probably not subscribed. So if you're ready, let's get straight to this video. So let's go over the problems in each score group. And we have three score groups. First one is going to be the 500s. They are going to be the beginners. And 600s are going to be the advanced people. 700s are going to be the quote unquote experts. So let's first talk about the beginners. They are going to be the people who are scoring in the 500 range or they are scoring below the 500 range. They are all considered beginners because they have the same problems of number one. They don't know what they don't know. Remember those times when you go to like a review exam review sessions and teachers ask you, hey, if you guys have any questions, let me know because the exam is tomorrow. And you're just sitting there, I don't know anything. I don't know anything, so I don't even know what I don't know. I don't even know what to ask. And that's exactly what's going on with you and the SAT. See, on the SAT math section, there are about 25 concepts that show up. And you probably know about, I don't know, maybe like three concepts you, like you know, but there are the remaining 22 concepts where you just don't know. So on the SAT, you're gonna get the three concepts that you know about correct, but the remainder of the questions, you are just going to get those wrong, which explains the low score that you currently have. And what's going to be a solution here? Well, it's not going to be practice exams. I see a lot of students taking practice exams after exams after exams. And if you're in the beginner stage, that's not what you need to do right now. These things are not going to teach you the concepts. And another thing you're going to want to avoid is these SAT tricks and shortcuts. You know, there are these videos on YouTube saying, watch this video, it's going to raise your score 100, 200, 300 points, and it's going to send you to Harvard. It's, guys, these trick videos are not going to raise your score. They're just tricks, you know? It's like putting on a Band-Aid when you have a tumor. Like you need a major operation, not a freaking Band-Aid. And the correct thing to do here is to focus on learning all the concepts. So for instance, you can do that by getting yourself a SAT math book and learning the concepts, or get yourself a nice little tutor, or enroll yourself into SAT Math Accelerator, which is my SAT Math prep program. Use one of these things to teach yourself all the concepts so you know what is tested on the SAT and you know how to solve every single question. Use these materials to start learning the concepts, otherwise you are going to be wasting a lot of your time. So here's another thing that beginners are going to face with learning math. See, if you think about math, it's like building a pyramid, right? So you learn the very basic stuff first, and then you learn more advanced stuff, and then you go into more advanced and you know, it's like that, right? You first learn the addition, and then you learn multiplication, and you learn percents, word problems, geometry, so on and so forth, right? And what these SAT prep books are going to do is they are actually only going to teach you this much. They're just going to assume that you know the basics of the math. And that works for a good chunk of the populations, but for the beginners, it's going to be a problem because if you're in the 500 range, that means you don't know the advanced stuff, but you also are shaky on the very basic stuff as well. And when you try to learn the advanced concepts while you are weak on the basic foundations, you're going to struggle a lot. These concepts are going to come a lot harder than they should be. It's pretty similar to learning how to ride a bicycle. It's a lot easier if you start with the training wheels and as you get better, you take the wheels off. If you're going straight into advanced concepts without the basics, it's like going straight into the bicycle without training wheels and it's your first day on the bike. 
So when you're working with books, it's only going to focus on teaching you the advanced concepts and not teaching you the basic foundations. And when you're working with a tutor, it, I don't know, it depends on the tutor, but if it's a good tutor, they might cover the basics as well. And because I know this is a major problem for all the beginners, I have included them in the SAT Math Accelerator. Every single basic concept you need for the SAT is all in the program. So if you follow through, you're going to be good to go. You're going to have a strong foundation. So not knowing what you don't know is going to be the first problem for the beginners. And how do you get around that is going to be by starting with the concepts. Focus on the concepts. Don't do the practice test. Don't watch these SAT trick videos. They're wasting your time. And the second problem that students are going to face is the discouragement. See, if you're in the 500s, the exam just seems impossible. It's really hard. You, you can only solve maybe like first couple questions, but rest of them you're like, what on earth? When did I even learn this? How are people even solving these questions? It's going to seem impossible and it's going to feel like you are not cut out for this and maybe you're not meant to go to university. But here's what you need to know. See, we all got to start somewhere. See, some people start in the 500s, some people start in the 600s and very, very, very few people start with 750 plus. And if you are that person, stop taking the SAT because you are destroying the curve. And just because you're in the 400s or 500s, don't get discouraged because I talk about how I got an 800, but I actually started with a 570 and it's been a long, it took a long time for me to go from 570 to 800, but it is possible. And it's not that I'm special. I've seen it happen in so many of my students. They would start with low 500s and they will work their way up all the way to 750 plus and even to a perfect score. The point here is that everybody starts somewhere. And even if you are starting with a low score, it is possible for you to break the 700, 750, and even get to a perfect score of 800. Don't get discouraged. Don't get disappointed. Keep putting in the work. And as long as you don't give up, you're going to get to your target score. I can promise you that. So that's going to be for the beginners. Let's talk about the intermediates who are in the 600s. 